return once Fuck. more. Watch our fucking penis. Battleship thing. Where is the entrance? Uh, it's over on one of the sides. Very descriptive, sir. Very descriptive. Next thing you're gonna tell me is red is a color. Well, there is the entrance. Okay. Right here. All right. So it's on the starboard side. Uh, I can. Did you just fall? Yes, you. Try to. Okay. So the immediate secondary elevator is a little concerning. Okay. Little space. Bathrooms with the core. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like how you <coughs> how you incorporated the engine with the uh, with the bathroom facilities. I like that, and the nice arched ceiling. I, I can appreciate this. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. The bed Actually, looks a little Spartan. Well, it's a bedroom. I can't put real textures up yet. Yeah. Ah, the little, wow! You just went all out here, man. Viewing screens, damn. See, your ship is just like a luxury. Are you sure it's not a luxury lot? Yacht, yacht who's pirate proof? <laughs> yeah, you're nice, very nice. The construction deck, okay. Like it. Ooh, I like the galley. I like the galley a lot. I actually like this. I like the checkered floor. Oh, and you've... Oh, very nice. And one, two, three, four, five. Not bad. Yeah, six. That's enough for keeping a couple people sustained. Mm-hmm. Nice. And where's the cockpit? The second immediate elevator. Oh, the one right when you come in? Jeez, you just have to... Really? All right. So I seem to go up... Ah, okay, here's your little salt blister. Okay. And then let's go into the bowels of the ship. Alright, that's where you're keeping all the O2 and stuff. Okay, here's a gravity generator. Okay, okay, the fuel. Nice. I like the layout. I like the layout. I like how you have like the blast proofing on the sides. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not gonna save us. One good hit to those things and they're gone. But yeah, I do see what you're saying about how you're having like so much extra protection on them. Oh, that's not even half of it. There's one, two blocks in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's kind of hot. I've got the double skin stuff going on on most of my ship. I do like this. I like this a lot because it's, 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 it feels a lot more, uh, I don't know. Like, in a lot of spaceships movies, you'll see it where, like, the ship, it's just like the crew compartments, and then that's it. There's not really a hole to it. This thing actually looks like, though engineering is a thing. It, it's got like, you know, the life support areas, you've got the tanks as you're walking by the things. It looks very livable, I guess. For lack of a better term. Might I it's, almost suggest tossing a third generator right here? Vertically? Well... Or are we going to put something else there? Just, you know, so you have one on each, you have something on each side in case you have a catastrophic explosion on half the ship. That's my only thing. Or that. that They're going good. to be used at some point. I can sure. feel it in my bones. <laughs> you sure that's just not the gra anti gravity fucking with your uh, bones? Yeah, I like it though. I like it. My only real complaint is that the elevator to go between the decks is right by the fucking door. Like, yeah, the elevator is always. always fucking. Do you want to take at least a tour of mine? Uh, sure, I would. I, I'd I, like I, to. I, really like I, just, I, I forgot about beds, too. Beds were important. I want to... Because mine's not even remotely... I don't even have a side hatch. It's just all straight from the tower. That's it. There's admittedly only one way or in or out, which is a little disturbing when I think about it. In hindsight... You have officially, 100%ly, outdone me. I have no... I can't... No. Like, hot damn, dude. That is fucking phenomenal. It, it, it's got a unique look to it. The profile is really cool. The interior is amazing. I love it.
really do. Yeah. I just I got a last touch. Does it have any way to either touch down on a planet or something? It will. It's not done yet. Oh, it's, oh, so we'll be able to touch down. Yes. Go look at the bottom. Did you see how many engines I got down there? No, I saw. I didn't know if those were like for maneuverability or anything like that. Because I know that's one issue. Because I was like, well, we could technically bring small vessels, maybe. But I don't know if his will support that. So, yeah, I mean, it looks That's the, the biggest failing in the ship. No small vessel support? There is no hangar at all. Well, what you could maybe do... I don't know. You don't really don't have room for it. I was going to say you could like, maybe have like a little small pad on the back just for one, but I don't necessarily know if that would look right. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> that ship looks awesome. I do, yeah, like, like I said, it That's looks really That's the best really fucking good. ship I've ever built. Like, I know this, these past few videos, guys, have been, like, super-duper boring because we've just been building, and maybe I've been chattering back and forth with the camera, but, um, his ship is really cool-looking. Like, let me kind of zip around. He's got these little engine pods in the back. The lighting. Oh, you do have these, like, two lights hanging off your ass, just kind of floating in the air. That yeah, no, these are... You yeah, should go you might want to remove those. Um, but, yeah, other than that, though, I mean, it looks really good. I like the, all the little... He tells, holy shit, that is a lot of thrusters. Are you going to have any landing gear on there? Yes, I am. Oh, cool. I, I just love that it's got the gentle curve and all. I love it. It's it's really... I like it a lot. Like, mine is just like, hey, you took a, a modern aircraft carrier and strapped jet engines to it. It's like Battleship Yamoto, but <laughs> an aircraft carrier instead. <laughs> I, have, I have no problems with coming in and taking a look at this bad boy. I, I definitely feel that you have you have a handedly beaten me when it comes to design uh, for appearances in all that jazz. Like in here, I fucking even forgot about the damn beds. Who needs beds? We have a couch. It's somewhat comfortable. Yeah, actually, let me. Um, I'm thinking about it. Uh, where are those deco blocks? Because I know where exactly where I would put my beds. The hell kind of windows are these? Huh? Oh, I see what you did. You did window and then window. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this oh. way you could see out of it, but I still have the double thing, so they have to blow through both windows in order to get um, out. I like it. Yeah, there we go. We got the bunk beds in now, too. So, yay. There is that going mm -hmm. forward. Mm -hmm. But yeah, up here, it's not the armored blister, but I mean, it gives you. You don't necessarily have to actually rely on third person for whatever reason. I'm thinking about pulling out these two chairs right here and doing the same double pane window treatment. I had to the other stuff. Mm, that looks really good, actually. Yeah. That window? Mm hmm. I really like that. Well, because this way you can. Yeah, because it gives it that, that impression that it's a big solid glass block. It well, looks not necessarily awesome. solid glass, but it's more like, you know, you've got. You don't have glass separating between you and the void. You actually have glass, something else, and then another layer of glass or something else over there. Mm hmm. Makes it feel more like pressurized, I guess. I like how you come in and the elevator's in kind of a decent spot. Yeah, I always design like the elevator so that you can get it's it's the central point of all the ships. Yeah, this is the main construction area. It links into the storage and the food area. And then back here is the back half of engineering. And then on the other half, you go to the front end because, again, I and even the back there, it's all double skinned. So, um, <laughs> hey, you just be able to, need to be able to repair it. That's very true. Um, but yeah, it's all double skinned in the back and the front, so that if you have to actually take damage, you're not at a risk of like you know losing important components. And then back here, I don't care so much about it being exposed, so it's just a single pane. Oh, yeah. I like these oxygen tanks about the robots. Yeah. That's that also looks where I, really good. where I shove the damn RC, the extra RCSs too, because I got three here and I got two in the front as well. It's like they kind of just perfectly kind of just go in and just like amplifiers or whatever the hell they're supposed to be. Oh, I, I really, this, this is how I'm going to build my gardens. You know, like, O2's in the ceiling? That looks fantastic. Well, I mean, that's the whole thing with the spaceship, I feel, is at least everything should be used in all three directions. And yours is really good with that, because it's got that same claustrophobic feel to it. But yeah, and then I have the other... Actually, no, I'm sorry, I'm running seven RCS to get this thing going. But yeah, so everything in the front and back is double-hulled. I'm, I'm just really... I feel it's really durable. 
until you start hitting in the midships or you believe the calling towers double hold. Um, but it just does not have the firepower that yours is capable of. I I'm not gonna lie, down here it's a little it's a little it feels labyrinth. Yeah. Like yours is a straight tube, and I feel I wish there was a better way I could navigate, but I kinda had to build around that fucking Warp drive. Cord. Yeah, because that's why you have to have this really awkward passage back and around. Well, that's okay. You know, yeah. confuses borders. I wouldn't necessarily. Oh, well, I mean, confuses borders. Hey, look, we found the core. <laughs> <laughs> the, the point is to make sure they don't get in, because it's just designed to be shot to hell. Yeah, I'm not a. Uh... It's very claustrophobic, but it's also just a little confusing. Yeah. Yours admittedly has a much more linear design. Well, it's a. That. It's a line. Where the yeah, fuck is the I, elevator? <laughs> uh, the elevator is going to be on the off side. It's on the off panel on the left. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, the thing is, if you if you think of the conning tower as the central pillar of the ship, and I had that problem in your elevator too. Yeah, I don't know why the elevator's just yeah dick around. But um, if you think of the conning tower as like the central point that everything comes off of, it makes the design a little bit make a little bit more sense. But it's not for me. And you have this huge landing pad. I like it. My only complaint is just it doesn't have nearly as many guns, but it's only, it's not meant to deal with space stuff. It's just meant to deal with, oh look, it's some drones. Let me shoot those down real quick for you. Yeah. It's a damn artillery gun can't even fucking fire in space, or can't fire outside of space. Nope. So I just left it there for the the odd ball moment where it's just like, all right, have a merry fucking Christmas. Cause it's big as shit too. All right, but yeah. All righty, I'm gonna save the blueprint because I think it's just about good to go. And, uh, yeah. Actually, I need to name it, too. Alright, so what do we need a good name for this guy? It's gonna be called... Um... Let's see here. Oh, oh yeah. I think that's going a little too wild and stuff, though. Uh, I need a name. I need a name for this. What's a good name? Behemoth? No, no, no. <laughs> you already had a good name. What? The Yamamoto. <laughs> <laughs> the Yamamoto. <laughs> that's it, man. I'm telling you. That's the name. No, that's, no, I can't do that because that's that's a, that's a, that's an interplanetary battleship. I can't do that. Like yours, I could maybe see that, but not mine. What was the name of another Japanese carrier? Shit. The Hornet. That's an American one. Yeah. Uh, well, no. I usually name my small fighters after bugs like that. The wasps, and hornets. What would this be? Oh, the hive. There we go. Called the hive. There we go. And let's kind of pop back for a dramatic viewing angle. What is it? Control F6? Yes. Oh, I have to actually be standing on the damn thing. Control F6. Shift F6? Oh, Shift X6. That's what it was. Where you want to... Where is create? No, wait. Control shift I think. Ah, uh, there we go. Now I've got two entrances. Uh... Which was... I don't think it was... Um... What's the hotkey for? I don't... I don't think that was it. Say so it's uh, right control O? Possible. No. Alright. Capital vessel to land this motherfucker. But we have, have to, to actually have heavy landing gear. Yeah. Heavy landing gear and you're also gonna have to have uh, us both see at the same time even though that's dicey. Do you remember why we had to uh <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Create blueprint. Right alt O. Right alt O. Alright, so right alt O. There we go. Okay, and we're gonna save this as the hive. CB. Alright, so the final tally for this guy 3,390 iron ingots. It's almost 3,400 3, of them. Uh, 16, almost 1,700 silicon. Almost 1,600 copper. 1,100 cobalt. 300 sathium. Uh, 190 neodymium. 
uh, 28 glowing plots and 20 plastic raw material. It takes five hours to make. 20, just under 2,500 blocks. It is 16 wide, 50 deep, 13 high. Bad for putting any gear on this thing, it's going to look like shit. I know, that's why I was just like, maybe don't worry about it? Or maybe make some scaffolding so you can gently bring it down. Or just have enough fuel in there so that... Am I recording something? Oh, no, just I'm hovering. Okay. Yeah, I just... wonder. Yeah, I'll, I'll check that out in a minute. Um, because if I put landing gear on it, it is going to look like garbage. Now, what I would suggest they may be doing is grouping the engines so that you only have the bottom ones that are pushing it up active. And so... And maybe, like, two or three of the lateral control ones... So that you can power oh, off all of the other engines, so it just keeps it just keeps in place. I need to get this back to save. Yeah, you should do that, probably. Right alt O? Uh, yeah, right alt O. That is fucking amazing, though, dude. I really like your ship. Shit's right alt O? Damn, like, I... I got nothing on that, man. That's like a work of art. Now, I would like to try maybe half the size of it, and make this badass little gunboat. With only like three or four turrets. Yeah, that's gonna be the Yamamoto. <laughs> All right, let's take that a look at this bad shot. boy. Is. All right. Surprisingly, under two thousand blocks. All under seventeen hundred blocks. It's the whole blocks. Yep. Damn, dude. Required level fifteen. I mean, you made it low. Oh, it's because I use the larger. I use the large engines that require level twenty. Mm-hmm. Um. That it's actually sense. it's actually not that bad, believe it or not. I'm guessing because mine's mine's only a little bit longer than yours, maybe about how how long is yours? Uh thirteen by forty five by eleven. Yes, yeah, so I'm only five blocks longer, two blocks taller, and two blocks wider. And how many blocks were you at? Uh sixteen ninety eight. Eight hundred left. yeah, I must have had I, oh, it's cause I did a lot of double hauling. I was just like, how the fuck? Do I have 30% more than you, but I don't have that much extra stuff? I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, it's because I double hold. Oh, okay, that, that's the only thing I can think of, is that I double hold the entire ship. Mm-hmm. Uh, iron ingots at 2660. 2660. Copper ingots at 1530. Silicon at 1440. Uh, 980 cobalt, 210 sathium, 170 neodymium, 100 plastic raw materials, and 18 growth plots. Yeah. That, like I'm almost like I'm on par with all of your materials except iron because I'm at 3390. Everything else is on par. So yeah, it's just got to be. It's just has to be the uh, double the double hull I did. I really like your design though. Holy shit, I really do. The ultimate test though is to see if they actually work in atmosphere. <laughs> well, I need to see if this fucker would fly. It should. I don't see why it wouldn't. Well, you already save it. To... Oh yes, I do. Okay, yeah, give it a whirl. Get to see the engines power up. It comes to life. I've got to hit sack here in a second. No, trust me, I'm, I'm, I'm dragging myself right now. I'm probably going to do like another three or four hours of binging in Stardew because I'm a masochist and I'm addicted to that game. It's Oh, by the way, you know that game's supposed to have multiplayer at some point, right? Yeah, I remember you, uh, remember you telling me that. I think someone's trying to get me to play Stardew. Might be me. <laughs> But no, I was going through the dev blogs, and apparently, right before he released it, he's just like, oh, I have a finished single-player game, and I'm working on multiplayer, so I'm going to release single-player, and then when multiplayer's not released that, I'm just like, oh, I could do I could do co-op farming and shit, ah! 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I have 8 RCSs in here. Yeah, one more than me, so you'll probably handle a hell of a lot better, because especially since you're... How many tons is your ship? Um, let's see. Because I know I'm 30% more... do I more. see that? But when you hit P, when you're sitting on it, it'll tell you your mass. Uh, okay. uh 3.16 kilotons. <laughs> I'm 4.6. Yeah, so, like, yeah, you have an extra RCS and you're about 30% lighter than me. Yeah, you'll be, you'll be skimming along. Woo! It's moving. Damn, dude, that thing just picks up and goes. Ooh, ooh, we should try a race. We should try a race. Just to see, just to see how bad it is. Okay, let me get to the pilot seat. V. All right. So. Oh, I like how these flares look too on the deck. All right. God Almighty, I can't even turn 
that fast, dude. It's almost too fast. <laughs> and it turns for like, it feels like it turns from the RCSs. Yeah, I mean, that's usually what your left and right control turning is from, is, our, is the RCS. Which means it's turning from the back, which means I hate it. Yeah, because I, I distributed mine between the front and the middle, I want to say, which is probably why my ass is so fucking slow. But damn, you're like fucking... No, no, I percent lighter, and you're running it into the RCS. Super hate. No, definitely keep that in here. I'm going to turn soon. Fucking nuts, dude. I do like how we made similarly sized vessels without really even comparing notes. <laughs> Well, I appreciate it. It was, um, a lot of it was just like, ah, I want to use different blocks of what we've been using. It's beautiful. I really like it, because it's, it's, it's not even like a cylindrical thing, either. It's got, like, this tapered... It looks like it's, un it's a pressurized device. Alright, wanna race? Uh, sure. Alright, start, and we'll turn around. Well, not turn around, but we'll circle the planet going counterclockwise, eh? Circle the planet. Well, I can guarantee you're probably gonna beat me, so... Alright. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go. And the first one to circle back from the ocean. From the, uh. Oh god, I cannot turn. Uh. We're gonna kill each other if we get too close to the planet. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's call that. As I'm gonna win because I can turn faster than you. Well, I said around the planet. To be fair, which gives me a um, nice wide turning radius. I'd really like to see if the ship can go down there and just hover. Um, the only really way for me to do that, honestly, the only really way for you to do it is to kind of just go into creative mode yourself and do it because I can't because we're not on the dedicated server right now. And so the only thing I can actually test for a definitive fact is my ship, but we know. With how it is on peer to peer, um, this thing is gonna be freaking brutal. I know. The, the turning it can do and how maneuverable it is, woof. Yeah, actually, honestly, with how relatively small these are, because they're only 50 blocks long, it's only 50 meters long. Like you're like probably like a strike cruiser, and I'm probably just like this little support carrier. <laughs> actually, uh, I did forget something. Huh? Rather, rather important. What'd you get? Do not have an ammo bin. Oh, you forgot an ammo bin. Shame, shame. Which uh, I absolutely have to have to have ammunition. So. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Uh, Woo! Where I had that, uh. I may have almost back ended you. <laughs> I never ended you. <laughs> <coughs> or backed into you. I should rather. only need the one market. Yeah, well, maybe, yeah, one big bin should cover all of your ship guns. You'll probably need another one just for your personal arms, just like they're just stowing it. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with how these turn out. This is a nice little fun afternoon project. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. I'm going to have to totally step up my game, because, I mean, I can't... I got nothing on you, dude. <laughs> Your your ship design is beautiful. The only, like I said, the only complaint I even remotely have, and it's a minor quip at that, is that elevator as soon as you come in, because you kind of step in and then you, you kind of get stuck inside the next elevator. Well, I uh, I think I fixed that. Oh, you did? Okay. Actually. Well, we'll save that for the next episode. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And, again, hats off to Tornath. He made a fucking amazing ship. I finished first... But I have the greatly inferior product. He has the design done, the interior looks great, flies like a charm. I love it. Beautiful. In any case, thanks everyone for watching, and I will catch you on the next episode. And hopefully, See you later, folks. Yep. Hopefully the fucking alpha will actually drop so we can actually do something like more entertaining, because this has been a little bit boring for me, per se. I hope it hasn't shown through too badly, but I really want to try out that new content that I haven't gotten to, and it's killing me. <sighs> In either case, catch everyone later. Bye.